Hey everybody, welcome back to Stoke Queen Adventures. Uh, just a quick update um, of what uh, I've been doing um, and plans uh, for the new grow on inside the filter shed. Uh, space is a bit tight really, but um, it is what it is. Um, yeah, hope you're all okay. Um, and uh, enjoying as much as you can. Temperatures are dropping big time now. Um, my pond's still about 16, but um, yeah, uh, you can certainly feel it. Anyway, guys, I'll turn you around and show you what's what. So, yeah, there it is. All of that droppings are dry now, so I'm going to disinfect that. I was thinking about leaving the base in because it packs underneath. But as you can see, <coughs> there's the top. So that is about, well, this, this is 120, so. About a metre. So yeah, this is about a metre drop, which uh, the blue vats I'm thinking about uh, are two foot. So it should be plenty, um, but it doesn't give much. So what it might have to do is hire this up to about there uh, and put a false uh, slope roof on, and then it'll give me a two foot for get in then. But it, if it sits on there, um, perfect, because it's nice and flat. Um, I might have to, lift it a little bit because it's got a, it'll have a bottom drain on so I'll have to put some pieces of wood under and run the drain cross connect it to this this one and then I have an easy pod sitting here um, and then return view a shower another one of those um, Uh, I found a um, a drum filter uh, off uh, Danny at uh, Danny's Koi. Um, uh, I just got to uh, save the pennies, which um, <laughs> is easier said than done these days. But yeah, um, a couple of lights underneath as well. I have got a, a marine light I could put underneath. The time being, I mean, later on I could d dig it down. It's because you got another 13, 14 inches drop, <coughs> maybe a bit more. Um, but yeah, it'll be enclosed a bit. Getting it in here is another matter because uh, they are pretty big. Um, so I'll just put the shelf out, shelf up. Uh, just put a few bits on, try to tidy it up a bit. Um, I've got this uh, Aquamanta uh, pressure fit filter that sits underneath the tank. So anybody interested, give us a shout. Um, not sure the price really. And they are a bit a good bit of kit. Um, but yeah, I've also got a Hoover as well. That might be going up for offer. Could get it, dig it out. So not been used. Don't use it really. You see, easy pods there. Yeah, I've put a switch unit on and there's a, bo a retro bottom drain. Mm. I was going to put that in here, but I think it's uh, it'll be a bit too big. Um, so yeah, I'm going clad all that uh, and put some planters on the side of it or something just to make it a little bit more presentable it's uh, <coughs> these are fine in here and you just had a, a clean thank you for more food by the side Being big that one is so that's why I need another tank setting up so I can put them in and put the fry in this one then but running off the same system um, 
These are growing. Some, some nice ones in there. Kahaku and I'm in, uh, getting in my Hawaki. Anybody interested in some fry, say what well, about two and a half, three inches, some of them, uh, just to get the numbers down. Some interesting ones. Found three pumps. No pumps, another one there. Just put uh, some clay in, a bit cloudy. Drain. The idea is put that in this one, connect that pipe to the pipe that's coming here and then pump off that. See anything there. There's one fish in there. Water's only about 10 degrees. It's running on air filter. Temperature in this one is 23, it's coming up to 25. Main pond 16, pH 7. <coughs> so, yes, that's the idea anyway. So, yeah, at least I can get any here now. Um, I'm saying it's a good solid base. Uh, it seems a shame to move it. But I did want to get down to the floor, but it'd be getting rid of the stuff and uh, where to put it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping one of those will fit in. I mean, this is, it's, <coughs> I mean, this spirit level is 120, and you've still got another, what? Nine, ten inches. So we're, there's a bit more room in there. Base wise is all right. Uh, I can I can clad the front of it then. Um, <coughs> take this door off and get the Uber out. I've just got nowhere to put it at the moment. It's. Um, yeah, it's a Wazik um, Hoover Pond Vac, uh, one of the good quality ones to be honest.
so yeah um, those are the ideas we've got anyway uh, I just need to get this try get this sorted so I can get the fry inside um, for ready for winter so we'll cut down on the heating a little bit I mean the RTT to a high level but at least any uh, there'd be a bit more uh, snug um, and then the one that's outside with them in at the moment uh, could turn into a hospital tank uh, which would be perfect size really for how long they'd be in there um, so yeah um, so far so good uh, any ideas please uh, comment um, much appreciated and uh, I say it's, it's, it's a, <laughs> a minefield really sometimes um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to sort out and he's a bit cramped and he get with electric sorties as well I won't get a I haven't got a juncture box in here at the moment so we uh, I need to get that and get some uh, get it tooked up just to for safety really um, it's been okay it's been like this for a few years now but um, I just won't get it right um, anyway guys guys I'm babbling on uh, I say I hope you're okay um, I was hoping to go to the show this weekend so uh, I'll see what tomorrow brings to be honest um, I've not been well all week so uh, yeah first chance I've been uh, been to get out really so uh, yeah anyway just a short one uh, look after yourselves stay safe and uh, please subscribe um, see if we can get to that thousand would be amazing um, please hit the thumbs up or thumbs down uh, comment what, what you'd like to see uh, any any future future things that you want uh, um, give me some ideas or not <laughs> uh, as I say I just do these videos just to share what I'm doing really um, and help me along the way so anyway guys take care please subscribe click like I'll see you next time